Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a beautiful card to show you today. It features a couple of new products. Um, the first one is the Time Together bundle. I guess it's not brand new, um, but this is from our current annual catalog and it's the first time I have started using it. Um, it is really a fun and sweet uh, stamp set to play with. Second uh, product I wanna show you is one of our beautiful uh, masks. It's from a set of masks coming out in our holiday catalog called Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. So it's a little bit of a sneak peek, but they will be available September 6th in our new holiday catalog. All right, well, let's make our card. And I think we'll start with the masking part. I have a basic gray card base, and I am going to set it down here on my a grid paper. I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm um, not washi tape, a uh, post-it tape. Post-it tape is one of my favorite things to use in my crafting space. It's like a post-it note stickiness, so it's not going to rip your paper or anything, but it holds really well. All right, so now I'm going to put the mask on top, take some more of my um, uh, post-it tape, and then I'm going to grab a blending brush and my basic gray, and we're just going to add ink all over the front of our card. Now you can go as light or as dark as you want. You can also use spritzers with our mask. You can fill a spritzer with um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol and some reinker drops. You can use um, our embossing paste, which is really fun too. So lots of different options to use with our masking. All right, it does get a little messy. Look at that little hound's tooth action. I love it. And so you can take your paper or your tape and just peel it right off. Okay, now for the stamping, let's get all of this messy stuff out of the way. And we'll do some stamping. I am going to grab a piece of basic white and I've got my hourglass here. Um, one thing I want to tell you about putting these larger photopolymer stamps on your blocks is to take your stamp and just kind of drop it on the table so that it's it drops in the form that it needs to. You don't want it to be a little bit crooked. If you lay it down on your block, sometimes we, you know, human error, we put it crooked and then the die doesn't fit. So I always just kind of drop it on the table to let it get in its natural form and then set my block down uh, to pick it up. All right, so let's stamp that. And then we'll do the little... I don't know, I guess it's sand, sand on the inside. I'm gonna do this in Melon Mambo. So we've got a heart-shaped sand at the top. There are two different things that you can use for that in the stamp set, and I chose to use the heart. And then there's the bottom sand. And then we've gotta get our little drips of sand, if you will. There we go. Now I'm not gonna color this in because I've already cut out the little wood piece that goes on the outside of it. So we'll put that there in a minute. But let's stamp and color our flower as well. We'll put that right here. And I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends. I just stamped that in Memento Black. And I'm gonna use my Stampin' Blends. I'm gonna start with Light Highland Heather. And we'll color in our flower. I've kind of been on a pink and purple kick lately. It's the end of summer and I'm just kind of, you know, waiting for fall to use my fall colors. So I'm sticking with my favorites, Melon Mambo, Highland Heather. I've been using Orchid Oasis a lot, Starry Sky. Those purples and blues are so pretty. So that's how I just chose my colors for this. Now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna add in kind of some dark here like this in the middle of the flower, kind of going out. And then you can add a little bit here wherever the petals would be overlapping and even under here where those petals are curled up a little bit. And then I like to take my light and just kind of all blend it out towards the outer edge. All right. Now for the leaves, I'm gonna use Old Olive. And we'll just do light old olive. And then I'm gonna take my dark and just kind of give those little 
veins there a little bit of an outline like that all right now for the sentiment there are several things several sentiments or sayings you can use in this set um i'm using time to celebrate happy birthday and i'm going to do the little banner image first in memento black like that and then i'm going to get my melon mambo again for the saying now these are the same kind of as I was telling you before. You want to lay them down and look, this one looks like it's not even on the block the right way. So let's let's see if we can get it right. So I like to just kind of take it and just lay it down like that and then pick it up. It usually will take on the shape that it needs to. Well, that's not doing it either. Let's try again. All right, little little bit of problem solving here. You know what, maybe I need to turn it. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Human error. You know, I'm not going to edit that out because that might happen to some of you too. Just turn the banner over. I mean, you know, <laughs> sometimes the problem is easier than we like to think. Okay. Now let's grab our cut and emboss machine and I'm going to layer on these dies we've got matching dies for these pieces and you can see i've still got my post-it tape on this one because i had a heck of a time getting it to stay in place so post-it tape will work really well with your dies that will keep them from bouncing around when you run it through um, i find that those really narrow ones seem to do that a little bit more all right then our flower Let's see, did I leave myself enough room for that? I did. All right. Now let's run it to get run it through. And everything's looking pretty good. Let's pop that out of there. Oh, perfect. Get these. And now let's put it together. All right, I have also cut out a Melon Mambo heart. Um, this heart is also from these dies. I'm just gonna take some Wink of Stella and make it shimmery. All right, and then we can take a little bit of liquid glue. Yes, my liquid glue isn't clogged. Let's see, there we go. Just a little bit. And we'll put this on. Right there. Get it straight. Um, I'm gonna pull in some of this ribbon and I'm gonna tie a very small bow. This ribbon, I can't think of the name. Let me look on it. It says, white organdy ribbon. Yeah, glittered organdy ribbon. I'll have a supply list and measurements on a free PDF on my blog. This is a project I originally did for Facebook Friday, so there's a free PDF there for you. You'll also find two other Time Together projects. All right, let's get that. I don't want it too terribly big. Let's see if we can get that fluffed up a little bit. I like to leave the ribbon on my bolt so I don't waste too much when I tie my bows. Okay, we're gonna start with the heart. And we'll put the heart right here. And then let's see, we're gonna need many dimensionals and Let's see, it always happens to me, yep, I don't have, if I need minis, I only have bigs. If I need bigs, I only have minis. So we'll just use the edge. Don't forget, don't throw your dimensionals away. You can always use these little skinny edge pieces somewhere in your crafting. All right, and we'll have this go across like that. Let's see, actually we need it a little bit further over like that and then we're going to take our bow glue dot this would be a pretty wedding card too don't you think let's put that there and then let's see and we'll put that on there and i think 
it'll be best to use some glue dots here. I'm gonna get several to stick down to that bow like that. Oh, we don't wanna cover up the sentiment. Let's move that over like that. There we go. Okay, now all we have to do is put it on our card base and I am gonna use those dimensionals. One, two, three. I don't put that right there in the corner. Like that. And let's add a few sequins. If I can find my take your pick tool and we'll just do a couple of these metallic sequins. And mm, one more. One more. Mm, yeah, I kind of like it down there, like that. Okay, and there you have it, you guys. A beautiful birthday card for someone special. At the time I'm making this video, the Time Together bundle is out of stock, but it's coming back week after next so be patient it'll be there just in time for your next order all right you guys make sure you click the link here go over grab that free pdf and give me a follow on youtube if you don't mind i hope you enjoyed the video happy stamping bye bye